Hello, my name is Robert Keller. I am the owner of the company which finishes and renovates buildings. I know that professional construction work requires both the right working technique and best products. For many years, I've been relying on using Ceresit products in my construction and renovation projects. Ceresit portfolio is full of advanced and easy-to-use solutions. Each time I have used Ceresit products, I was very happy with the final result. Now, Ceresit offers even more. That is the professional support for anyone who wants to achieve perfect results. Watch our short video that will help you to work fast and efficiently. There are some demanding areas which, while tiling, require special treatment. These are, for example, restaurant kitchens and canteens, where strong cleaning agents will be frequently used. Other demanding sites are laboratories, breweries and car washes, which will be endangered with chemically aggressive substances. In all those cases, while tiling, you should use highly resistant products, which provide extra protection and will not be harmed by contact with chemicals. When it comes to resistance systems, I trust in solutions offered by Ceresit with the whole range of Ceresit epoxy-based installation materials. Now, we are going to show you how to work with those products. Preparation. The surfaces are load-bearing, dry and even. To strengthen the substrate and to ensure a reliable bond, we recommend the two-component Ceresit CL71 Ultrapox Flex Primer, which makes the ideal preparation before applying the Ceresit epoxy sealing. Prepare the primer by mixing the resin and hardener component with a low-speed electric drill. As always, while working with an epoxy product, remember to wear protective clothing, gloves and glasses. Start with the walls. CL71 Ultrapox Flex Primer should be applied and spread with a paintbrush or a roller. When the walls are ready, move on to the floor. Do not forget to sprinkle the freshly primed surface with fire-dried quartz sand and to remove any loose sand after the primer has cured. Remember to clean the tools with solvent immediately after use. Waterproofing. All surfaces exposed to contact with water and aggressive chemicals must be protected by the application of a waterproof sealing under the tiles. We recommend the two-component Ceresit CL72 Ultrapox Flex Sealer, which produces a flexible, chemical-resistant and seamless membrane. Mix the two components with a drill until the mixture is completely homogeneous. The first waterproofing coat can be applied once the primer is cured. Start to seal wall and floor corners with the help of Ceresit flexible sealing tapes and corners. Apply CL72 with a brush, place the sealing corner and then embed it with a second layer of the epoxy sealing. Continue the waterproofing along all edges and joints of the walls and floor using the Ceresit sealing tape CL152.
it is time to waterproof the entire walls. Apply the first layer in horizontal movements. Then move to the floor. To achieve an efficient waterproofing, two layers of CL72 must be applied. Let the surfaces dry for about 16 hours and then apply the second layer of CL72. This time in vertical movements. Within one to three days after the application of the second layer, tiles can be installed with Ultrapox products directly on the ceiling layer. Tiling. For fixing the tiles, prepare Cerisit CM74 Ultrapox Fix, a two-component epoxy adhesive and grout. Add the liquid component to the paste and mix them with a low-speed electric drill until the mixture is homogeneous. Make sure to always mix the full contents of each component pack. CM74 should be applied with a suitable notched trowel, depending on the respective tile size. Place the tiles pressing them into the mortar. Keep equal distances between tiles and make sure they are level. Now apply the adhesive on the floor and fix the tiles. Due to its chemical and mechanical resistance, it is a perfect choice for highly demanding areas. Grouting. When the tile adhesive is sufficiently set, you may start grouting. We recommend the epoxy grout Ceresit CE79 Ultrapox color, tintable in many colors. Due to its chemical and mechanical resistance, it is a perfect choice for highly demanding areas. For convenience, you may also use CM74, not only for tiling, but also for grouting. Apply CE79 into the clean, dry joints and make sure that the joints are completely filled. Remove any excess material by skimming it diagonally off the tile surface with the float. Epoxy grouts must be washed in three steps. First, emulsify the tile surface with a wetted hydrograut sponge in circular movements and remove the resulting slurry. If needed, the joint surface can then be leveled and smoothened by gently wiping it with a soft sponge. When the grout has started to set, clean the joints with a frequently rinsed soft sponge and little water. The final washing can be done after three hours, but not later than six hours. Let the grouts dry for a minimum of 24 hours and then seal all connection joints with the high-quality silicone Cerisit CS25. To smoothen the joint, moisture it with a water and soap mixture and remove the excessive silicone with a plastic spatula. Continue until all joints are protected. With the Cerisit chemical resistance system, you can be sure of a long-lasting, highly durable solution, even for demanding needs. Prime the surface. Apply the waterproofing. Fix the tiles and grout the joints. Seal with silicone. 